When it comes to my blood draw, because I've done so many blood draws in the past, I always first, like, I always look with the hand, like, just plain hand, right? I'm, I already see, like, I can see Carlos has vein here. There's a chance there's a little, uh, in, maybe crossing here, or maybe you had blood draw recently, so, mm -hmm. uh, see that little lump right here. It's probably just the recent blood draw. Yeah, okay. from that little dot right there. Yeah. And then, uh, did this one actually, oh, you know what? That's fine. I, I, I can, yeah, that's fine. So second, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and obviously wait for that. So, so and of course I'm looking overall. Uh, see, it looks like he probably had the blood drawn. Also, I'm feeling it before I even put any tourniquet. Okay, I know it's somewhere here. I'm not hundred percent sure, but before I put tourniquet on, I, I'm gonna kind of assess it. Okay, so. Uh, you know, a lot of times people just do like, this is very painful, this is very uncomfortable. So what I, you know, I try to do either putting on top of the clothing or sometimes if you want to do really smooth and don't do this because it's going to be on the way, kind of do it on the side. So what I do, I kind of get it on the side and clean it. So now, it, even though it's tight, but it's not going to be as painful if it rolled over. So now. Depending on the veins, of course, I'm gonna look at the vein. Uh, Carlos has really good veins, and I see it's probably crossing here already, like string arm right here for me. So now I'm gonna feel. So I feel the vein goes right up this way, even though you see a little lump here, a lot of lump here. So I think this is a crossing, and this is probably from old blood draw. Even though it looks, it might be going this way, by feeling it, I feel actually Carlos's vein goes up this way, right? So again, I'll fill with my fingers. And you notice I'm not using it. It's actually really nice. It goes down like this, if you feel it, right? Okay, next up, of course, I'm gonna wipe the alcohol. Um, so what I also, a lot of people don't, uh, it's kind of automatic. <laughs> I, I like doing this kind of top the skin. So now I know where the vein is, it's gonna stay in the same spot, right? So same thing, I'm gonna wipe it in the middle. There's different techniques. Some people say do for, you know, there's, it really depends where, which school you go to. The perfect one you can do from the middle, go outwards, or you can do it just rub in the middle, crisscross it. Okay, you're not supposed to be cross contaminating, so you know the vein is approximately here. You kind of found the target, right? And then if you not still not seeing the vein, you can always give the uh, a little squishy to fill it out. Okay, so right there, and then um, so let's see. Even they can do this one, right? Because I know Carlos's vein goes up there. And when you insert, you can actually feel the poke through the vein. You can feel that tension. Carlos, so straighten up like this. Yeah, perfect. If you don't have enough sun uh, support, you can always put the pillow underneath. So I know even though there's look lump, 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 there's a vein that goes underneath. If you touch it again, if you forgot where it's located, of course you have to re-clean re it again. So I know the Carlos's vein goes kind of like almost up there, so it's contaminated now because you're touching it, right? So same thing, you touch it, you clean it again. Um, and that's it. Some people like doing this and inserting. I like just putting it next to, uh, to me and I kind of just go in. And again, top the skin. I know the vein is right there, right? I'm gonna go ahead and, and kind of gently, and when I do it, I support my hand with my fingers, right? So I'm just gonna just go in. So it felt very nice and smooth. And you just gotta you just gotta support the vein. So uh, see some people also move the needle in and out. So you can either support it with your hands, so you can see the blood. See the needle doesn't move, right? Because when you have the move needle movement, it's gonna be very uncomfortable. And I can get Jackie, give me a second one too. So I'm not too going crazy about the order because it's supposed to go with the uh, um see how perfect it flows, right? So another thing that I see a lot of misconception, people like I'm not gonna put all the way, a lot of misconceptions. Take it out first. Undo that and get the cotton ball and then roll it over. I don't like telling people to put to actually bend your arm because it's going to cause more bruising. So what I tell people, just keep the pressure on here. Like I'll tell my patient, just hold the pressure, put little gauze on top of it and take it off in about five minutes. That's it. So again, a lot of times don't, don't do this, but just keep it straight and just keep the pressure on that. That's all.
Okay, so what what can happen sometimes, right? The veins might roll over. So let's see if I'm looking at cause I'm gonna go a little bit more. Right? So, um, same thing, I'm gonna put it nice and tight. Uh, if you're not sure if it's if the veins are too small, I'm gonna have a patient pretty much put the arm on the side and kind of squeeze it. I just put it down, let gravity work, and just squish, squish, squish tight. So let me see, take a look. So now it's gonna be a little bit more juicier, right? When it comes to veins, uh, I either do this to straighten it. Because, let me see, because I can get like a better vein. So let's see, for example, right here, this is a beautiful vein, right? The problem is when you put, let's say, if you just go like, huh? See how it moves? Look at this movement, right? It's moving around, it's moving up and down. So what I do, I either stretch it this way and see, look, it's pretty, it's, it's moving, but it's not moving sideways anymore. Look at this now. It's moving side, I see. A lot of times mistakes happen because people just go in and it kind of moves the vein on the side. You either perforate through the vein or um, or it gets out the way. you just right next to it. That's why you have no blood. Chances are that some people just go in and, and, the, and they go right next to it. So what I do, I do this and then see how much straighter the vein is. And no matter how much I move around, look, it's still gonna keep, uh, stay straight, okay? And then, I mean, obviously there's a really juicy vein, right, in this area. So and the last resort, of course, we can use this vein. Hands are more painful in the hospital settings. We always use, we go from the hand up, even though it's more painful. Same thing, great example. Make a fist, house. look at this. So see how much it moves when I touch the vein, right? Look at this, the difference, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it tight, and if I'm gonna go in, it's really steady. And again, I'm supporting my hand, I'm supporting my uh, my needle with basically something. I need to be on something because if I just do this, uh, I'm gonna miss it basically, okay? Cause do you, do you wanna do another with a butterfly? Maybe, uh, do you yeah. mind donating your hand or? So let's do one more on the hand, okay? Uh, it's gonna be a little more sensitive, but I'm, you know, very gentle when it comes to blood draw. So same thing, wrap it tight make it very nice without rolling and it's gonna pull your hair probably oops and some people just like, okay here you go not enough you really need to put that pressure on there and create nice and see this is beautiful another thing positional i if if you have your hand just sitting like this it's not good i have i have patient kind of pull see how much it more it pops more and again, if I'm gonna do needle right now, it's gonna, it's gonna see, it just, it's gonna get out of the way. It's not gonna do anything. It's gonna be a big problem right there. So this is easy. It's two seconds. So same thing. I'm gonna wipe it. Even wiping. Look how much movement, right there. See, it really rolls over. This is, this is your typical rolling over vein, right? And let's do the, the, you know, the, there's different. Again, it's controversial. Some people say it's this way, this way. Of course, let it dry. What I do again, I'm not too worried about the order because it's supposed to go the the one that has pepper in it first, and then go SST, whatever. Not, not the point. So this is a very good example of rolling veins. If you're just gonna go in straight, randomly, it's gonna mess it up. So what I do with butterflies, I have it ready. I just have it ready here. I'm gonna push it in, and then. Um, I'm just gonna, oh, contaminate. So I can't do it because I contaminated the needle. I have to redo it. Let's do. So whenever it drops, you gotta, you gotta clean up and get a new needle, okay? So even if it's a second drop, it's contamination. You don't wanna get any um, dirt. Um, uh, Ivan, you can just charge them if you want. Just print the uh, summary and uh, so. One more thing, when it comes to blood draw, butterflies, sometimes in the package it comes very loose. So always double check this area because sometimes it comes in and oh, blood comes out. So I always tighten this. So see this area right here? It's very, very sensitive. It could come off so easily. So right here, this spot. So, and then same thing, I'm gonna set, uh, well, I'm gonna do the little one. Um, so, if I put the needle right away, it's not gonna work. It's, it's just gonna literally move around and then come out, okay? So what happens when I do, it's the same thing. So some people do this. Honestly, I feel like I feel more uh, more um, control when I do it just on the side. 
and I can actually control the angle. Look at this. If I put it in again, it's going to move. So I really do this. Even though it kind of disappears, see how much? Look, and I'm going to see the flash, right? One, two, three, low puck, sorry. And that's it. See the angle of approach. What you see in the flash all the way back, and this, you know, you are in the vein 100%, not even without any question. And it goes right in. So I'm not gonna uh, drink it too much curls. I don't want to. Same thing. Remove the tube. Get the tourniquet off. If you do multiple tubes, you can actually remove the tourniquet. You're still gonna be able um, to draw. But as soon as you remove the tourniquet, the blood flow is gonna be significantly decreased. Uh, so, Carlos, uh, what the questions you might have, like what's what's for the blood work? As far as like what problems you encounter every when you do, or maybe Ivan can tell us. Um, like what what guys you, sometimes you have problems with uh, or like the moving veins right or yeah that'd be one of the questions okay so moving veins I kind of taught uh, told you that you can actually adjust it my preference uh, just be careful don't poke yourself obviously but you kind of aim in the middle I just do it this way and it really really works well especially so this is what super all again that was like 100 uh, percent 